All right, and we'll finish up. Um, I got two more things, this being one of them. Uh, continuity. Um, hopefully you remember that continuity uh, is a, a way to make sure that something is continuous, such as a wire. Uh, we've used that before in the uh, troubleshooting uh, in the lab. Um, what you would do is you have to find and know your meter. You would select, um, this would be your ohms, okay? Um, and I'll jump into that real quick, uh, even though it's second on my list, right? Ohms is where you take your two, your two test leads uh, and you test a load uh, or a switch, um, but you test something with the wires removed, uh, such as a relay coil or a contactor coil or a switch on a sequencer. Um, you know, if it's normally closed, it should, it should give you zero ohms, okay? If it was continuity, then it should beep, okay? So ohms and continuity go hand in hand. Uh, just make sure that you have your meter selected. Uh, if you have it on ohms and you're 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 expecting a beep, you're probably not going to get it, okay? Because um, ohms is ohms. But if you have it on continuity and you're doing continuity, it's probably going to beep and give you the ohm value of uh, whatever you're checking, okay? Uh, voltage. Um, we all know the V on here, right? Uh, on my particular meter, I can select between. Um, you know, DC voltage uh, and AC voltage, okay? We typically use the AC unless we're checking batteries, you know, for your remote or thermostat. Um, hold on, I got a pause. Thought I had a call from the insurance company coming in, but uh, anyway, uh, I think I hung up on them. Uh, but uh, yeah, your voltage, uh, AC, DC, uh, just depends on what you're checking. Um, but it is a two lead check, okay? You have to use both. You have to, uh, if you're checking a coil, go to that coil and check both sides, right? Uh, it's not a one point check. It is a difference uh, in potential between both points, okay? Uh, your amp draw, okay? Uh, your amps or your amperage amp draw, uh, we know that that uh, is a one wire check. Um, here is my lovely amp meter from Klein. Got that at Home Depot. Um, but, uh, you know, we amp, we put a CL in front, it says clamp, okay? Um, this is typically what we use to do your, um, your amperage, okay? Uh, some digital multimeters, right? DMM, um, electrical test meters, what, what, what have you, right? Uh, some of these are capable of doing uh, up to 10 amps. Um, and you'll notice that there's, there will be, um, like an extra, uh, connection point, uh, for your leads to connect to, uh, and you'll have an, uh, a built-in fuse inside your meter. Uh, but if you're doing amps with a test meter like this, uh, versus your, your clamp, then you're going to have to do it in series. Okay. You're going to have to take a wire off and put your lead there and, and you're going to have to do a little bit of work for it. Uh, but it's very possible that your meter could do, uh, amperage, even though it doesn't have a clamp, you just have to watch, uh, and be careful for it. Uh, and capacitance, we just went over, um, you know, make sure that you actually, um, you know, you watch your, your selection. Um, mine has a button to cycle through. Uh, and I'm looking for UF. Uh, yours may say, and see down here, they give us the symbol, um, depending on make and model, brand, color, age. Uh, like I said, you may be reading an electrical symbol. You may see the, the UF. It may say CAP, C-A-P. Uh, it may say MFD. Uh, all these are, uh, you know, interchangeable. They're the same term, uh, for, or they're different terms for the same thing. So just make sure that you know your meter. Um... What else do I have? Temperature, just since I'm looking at it. Temperature, yeah. I can put a temperature uh, probe on here. Um, microamps, uh, since we're here for the furnaces, right? Microamps, uh, we use that for our flame sensor. Of course, you're going to be in series with that. It is still a, a type of amps for this meter. Uh, and I believe that's it on mine, uh, regular ohm. So um, that's pretty much the, the review for this.